Yo, what's up guys? Gonna be playing some threes for today with Gimmick and our old friend Johnny. He was actually the person that we had played in the 1v1s that we did yesterday, but I didn't want to expose his uh, identity, so I didn't say who it was. But uh, yeah, that was the person we had ran into, but I wasn't sure if he wanted me to say that it was him or not. But uh, yeah, it's him. I'll just say it because he's playing with us for today, so it doesn't matter if he wins or loses. So let's get into the games, and hopefully we can get some dub. See how it goes. Alright, for the first game, we got ourselves against Wilt Chamberlain. Um, Omar and Raji. Alright. See how this goes. Couldn't really challenge him early, so I just kind of let him have a dribble, but it's okay. There's really no shame in that. It's not really much that can go wrong in letting someone have a dribble in your corner like that, because if you know someone's not waiting middle, then you're you're pretty much chilling. We could going to get it out of our half. Feel the danger temporarily. Way right back here, get some boost. In a good position, good pass. Push forward here. Fine, couldn't quite beat him, but should be okay. Good save from Gimmick. Try to follow it up myself. Good follow up save there. See what Gimmick does. Should have this. Pass over to Gimmick side. Pass back to me. Couldn't quite shoot, but at least I can keep it in their side. Didn't mean to pinch it like that, but it should be fine, to be honest. Gimmick has control of the next touch. Played off the wall here, an awkward spot for them. Let's just see what they do. Same idea there. Out of Johnny, not a bad idea at all. Gonna boom this one downfield, see what they do. That's a really good touch for us, to be honest. It'd be a cool. So that's not... A bad thing to do every now and then just take a big hit downfield see what happens right if you put them in a weird position maybe they'll panic hit it up into their own ceiling hit it off the wall badly and your teammates can capitalize obviously in a game like 1v1 or even in some 2v2 games you don't want to do that you want to keep possession as long as possible um, but in three it's okay to throw away possession if you're putting the opponent in an awkward spot that's the way i see it at least really good save there from johnny interesting stuff Try to play this off to the right side. It's a good idea. Should have this. Trying to just joint that past the defender, the last man back. Couldn't quite though. Play it to gimmick side. Go for the touch, nice. I'm not gonna go for this one. It's a little bit awkward. He's gonna be up first, so better to just wait. Get the touch after the fact. Always better to play in a situation safe than sorry, right? You don't you don't want to go for something that's gonna leave your team in a bad situation. Let him go for that's fine. We still have full boost and I'll be back in a good position after this touch from gimmick. A little bit unfortunate. Good good read from them, to be honest. Also, I have this person added, so I kinda wanna see who this is. The Wilt person. Uh let's see. View profile. Oh, it's Sathy, okay. So he's an ex-pro player. Used to be on Space Station for a little bit. And he retired. Try from Gimmick. Should be okay. Even if he misses, this is fine. Gimmick's ball to clean up. Try to get over one here. That's enough, I'd say. Not a terrible outcome. Good save from them. Gonna just head straight back now. Get some. Boost along the way. Wait for the shot here. Pass over to gimmick side. Good pass back. Good 50 on two of them. Tried to be there for the next, but good positioning from gimmick to be ready for the 50. All you can ask for there. He knows all I can do is 50 that or hit that to the right side. So either way, he's going to wait middle, right? No reason to be anywhere but a little bit across from me there. Best case scenario. That's a good shot from them, unfortunate. Straight in off that. Let me see that forehead. Alright. First touch here. Try to follow that up. Maybe get one more. That's from Gimmick. I can take their corner boost here. I think Gimmick's gonna try to go for it as well, but should be fine. I hit it around two of them. Couldn't quite. I'm still gonna be in a pretty good position, to be honest. I have full boost midfield. 
Wait for this next touch on the ball. Look that up high. See what he does with that. It's going to be an awkward read for him. Good touch there. Just hit it off the ceiling middle. Should be fine. Nice. Good touch to the corner. Been a pretty sweaty game so far. Not going to lie. There's been a lot of... Uh, Post calls on a lot of things. Try to play that middle again. It wasn't quite enough to my teammates. So he wasn't able to get a straight up shot on that. But it's fine. Still kind of work out for us here. Just hoping maybe I can get a pass going forward there. But it was a little awkward. So can't blame it for not coming through. Got to play it middle for Johnny. Good speed. I play it to the wall there. Close. Good play, good attempt. I'm gonna go all the way back. Give me see in the mid boost. I know you can turn for me. I can go all the way back here. Shouldn't be a dangerous situation. Gotta go back now. It's a little bit awkward. Good save. Not working with much boost in a situation like this, but I know there's gonna be somebody there to help me out, so. Should be fun. Just gonna hit it down. Rather kill that than leave the ball in a risk situation. You get scored on. Can't let really beat him here, so I'll just let him throw away the ball. Don't mind the situation either. It's fine, just letting them throw themselves at the ball. Gonna give me an advantage in that situation. Hit it off the back wall. Should be finished. There we go. All he needs to do there, in almost every situation, is just get a slow shot on target. It doesn't even need to be perfect. It's a matter of, I gotta pass all the major players that can make a difference in that play on their team. So all he has to do is focus on getting that ball anywhere on target. It doesn't need to be fast, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be on target. And he did that. So well played from Gimmick. Let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up. Get back to back done. Let's see how it goes. Alright, for the last game I'm playing, it's Moshi, Race, and Renzo. Try to just get in the way of this. It's a good 50 over to Gimmick. Try to bump the last guy back here. I got a ton of pack wall. A little bit uh, hopeful of me, but if, <laughs> if I was able to get it, then it would have been good for us. Good block from them. Well played. Try to bump one on the way out here. I like to always look for one on the way out. I think it just helps a lot in general with like keeping pressure and stuff like that. I don't know why this guy's on our half, to be honest. It's quite the risky thing to do. To just be like chilling on another person's half like that when your team's getting pressured. If you're on offense, it's okay, obviously. But in general, you don't really want to be just hitting on one half like that. Wait, back wall here. Kind of just camp it. Good save from gimmick. I can grab this back boost now. Good save from gimmick again. Good dunk from them. People are getting really good at reading stuff on the wall like that. So it doesn't really work as well when you hit it up the wall and try to follow it up yourself. You gotta kinda do something more unpredictable these days. Ah, I got low 50 Unfortunate. There's so many options there and I have to kinda take a weird angle at that. Cause I have one guy going for the bump there, right? And he actually backflipped. He messed up. So honestly, I could've waited an extra second and probably just gotten the goal out of it, but Okay, so that would have been two guys committed into my net. One guy back flipping, one guy going for the air dribble there. So it might have actually been counter attackable and even scorable had I played that differently knowing that he missed the bump. But the fact that he even went for the bump was enough pressure on me to make me rush my play. Make my 50 worse than it needed to be. So that's why bumps, even if you don't hit them, super useful thing to do in threes, even if it is annoying. Free jump from gimmick. Should be Johnny's ball to get. Hit it around one. It's gonna be there, but it's fine. Oh my, that was an insane play. <laughs> the little touches. I got so quiet because I was just focused on the play. The C9 passing plays. <laughs> They're coming back.
I'm gonna fake this. Here's somebody up on my team. Probably should have went myself there, but there is a chance that person that's up that I heard could have had a really good shot, so. Yeah, to give that an opportunity to happen as well. Well played here from Johnny. I'll wait behind him here. Worst case scenario, I can scoop up the 50. Pinch it across by accident. It's not really what I wanted, but. As long as we have possession still. Kind of do. It's not a bad situation. Hit it around two of them, kind of. Yeah, we pretty much won that engagement. Let him touch this. Try to just be annoying. Get in the way. Hit it off the wall. Delays a lot of time. My team can get boost. Get in a good position to fall off the next touch. All you can really ask for there. Take his boost. Go for a bump on the rotating back guy. Make their life a little bit more difficult. Bump that guy a little bit. It's going to delay his rotation. So looking for little things like that is such an important thing to do in threes. It's a good touch. Try to just launch a shot on goal. I didn't have a teammate middle. I saw my teammate across. So it's not a bad idea to go for what I did there. Also, I'll turn back on my controller overlay. I just keep forgetting. But I see the comments about it. Take our time here. Try to get a good banger to the wall. Again, everyone's really good at reading that stuff now, but still is enough sometimes. That played off the wall. Go for their boost. Take our time here. Nice, good finish. That's a good moment to take your time. Called you Aqua. Yeah. Most people just guess when you have someone with a random name. Put all the way back here for boost. Could be awkward, but wait in a position where we can follow it up. Get a shot on goal as well. It's a good 50 for us. Alright, that guy keeps backflipping. He might have his dodge dead in a little bit too low. Or something like that. See, so give me going for the bump there. So that was kind of my um, green light to go for that ball. It's kind of like him telling me to challenge and try to take a shot there. When I see him leave that air dribble and head for the bump. That's a good pass from Gimmick. Really good play we got in this game, to be honest. Madison Beer, by the way. So now he's trolling. Wow. Now he's trolling back and trying to get them to believe that he's Aqua. Aqua's a 13-year-old uh, up-and-coming player. For any of you that are wondering who it is, who they're talking about. Very interesting. I can get back for this, I believe. Never mind. Well played. I should have pre-jumped at the wall, maybe? But I just don't think of. there's any way we could have done that. Yeah, that, this, this game has just turned very interesting. B-word. Surely we don't throw this, right? There's no way. I should be done. Alright, good games. I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. That's a really good passing play, to be honest. A hard thing to pull off against good players that know how to read the play. So well played from us. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it was you guys may be watching. Just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you all. Peace.